Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. You can see that the US 30 there has once again hit an all-time record high, same as the SPX 500 as we break above 17.895 and now we're kind of into uncharted territory. This will be acting as a new potential support, acting, acting as a potential springboard um, for the US 30 to make its next move. As non-farm payrolls is due tomorrow, um, I think a lot of the US macro data is quite buoyant and uh, most markets are uh, are doing relatively well this morning. If we have a look at the UK 100, um, obviously it came off a little bit yesterday drifting a little bit lower today a failure to break through potential resistance at 67.71 as ever the technicals are, are massively overbought um, if we do get any drift the next potential support is at 66.86 so Japan 225 is really getting a nice shot on the arm on the back of uh, potential further stimulus the fact that uh, Shinzo Abe is likely to have a very good presidential election or prim 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 premier election when that comes back up, um, that the um, the polls are looking quite positive for uh, for his party, and um, dollar yen is just a hair's breadth away from hitting 120. And in fact, if I have a look at one of my uh, one of my other charts, well, it was very very close. Um, maybe missing it by about 15 pips, but we'll come back to that in just a second. But nevertheless, in the middle of two ranges right now, next potential support uh, resistance sorry, is at 18.306. New potential support is this broken resistance here at 17.496. So will dollar yen break 120? Well, it kind of feels like when there's a target like that, it's only a matter of time before it does. Uh, the actual next potential resistance, as you guys know from us talking about this, is 124 spot 42. There is a decent bit of upside right here with the new potential support being the broken resistance at 119. But just remember, if we get in here too quick, be careful of banking intervention by the Bank of Japan. It's unlikely to happen, but um, there has been a few whispers out there basically saying that the, the yen is depreciation, depreciating too quickly, um, which makes a lot of their, uh, their core imports a little bit more expensive. But as oil prices and commodity prices have been absolutely tumbling, perhaps slightly less of an issue. Um, but do just be aware that there could be dangers of that happening. And the Bank of Japan does sometimes do this. But um, this looks like to be a clean technical breakout. The longer term potential resistance, 124 spot 42. So moving on to crude oil West Texas. And again, going on to the daily interval, there has been a lot of volatility. Crude oil inventories on Tuesday, the AIE numbers came out slightly worse than expected. Um, but that still caused a little bit of drift there. We're in a little bit of positive territory today, but it probably won't last. Looking at the tips of these candles, psychologically standing, um, this isn't looking to be that bullish. As in, I don't think we're going to re-challenge 70 spot 41, but we are in the middle of two ranges. We're not showing conviction either direction right now, but obviously the pressure is on the downside. So $64 is the next potential. Uh, 64, uh, yeah, 64 is the next potential support level. So gold's probably come off a little bit today. Had a bit of a bounce yesterday. To be honest, this does feel like it's. Uh, well, looking at the the candlestick pattern right here, it might rechallenge 1218. But the fundamentals are not in its favour. Stronger USD, higher chance of a early rate hike in the US should be adding lots of pressure onto gold. It's not coming off as sharp as I might have expected actually, which is. Um, maybe a telling sign, but 12.18 is a potential resistance. If you break and close above that, then that can change things a little bit. Um, feeling that drift towards 18, uh, 11.86 might be on the cards. So finishing up with the major FX pairs, so you've got uh, Euro Dollar finally broke 123.67, which is decent if you're a technical trader. It's a nice clean technical break. Watch for any retracement back up to the broken support. Longer term potential resistance, one spot 20.47. And uh, with the ECB meeting again very shortly to discuss a potential uh, stimulus measure, it might not come today in fact, but they might lay out the foundations for stimulus next year. They might shock the market, you never know. Um, but certainly the fundamentals are stacked against your dollar. Um, and as long as one spot 23.67 isn't broken on the upside, uh, this should be seen as a new resistance and uh, this could be your next potential support level with many of the technicals uh, still currently in um, neutral territory there is a uh, further this could still go so looking at GBP USD um, not the clean break that your dollar has fundamentally obviously we had the autumn statement yesterday um, the UK doing okay um, apparently we're the fastest growing economy um, in the eurozone eurozone that wouldn't be that tough incidentally since most of those countries are really struggling right now but um, the UK seems to be uh, doing a lot better growth at 3% um, but we've not had a massive technical breakout to the upside so 
probably sideways moving uh, markets on GBPUSD for a little while. We're still caught up in this downwards trend line. So not as exciting as your dollar or dollar yen. Um, we're probably most FX traders are looking today. So economic data wise, you do have the, the UK interest rate announcement. That's going to be a non-event. Um, then you've got uh, unemployment claims in the US at 130, which should be okay. Uh, and then you've got natural gas, which if you're trading natural gas will be quite useful. Not something we don't normally cover in these sessions. And if we fast forward on to Friday, we do of course have non-farm payrolls uh, and unemployment and average earnings. Massive, massive day as ever. Make sure you've got your alerts set on that. And we do actually have a webinar. So you guys can go to support and then go to live trader events and sign up to our live non-farm payrolls webinar very popular with our clients and uh, as ever keep your eye on the chart forum make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next